Hey there guys, my name is Kat Bowser. I'm your resident fantasy therapist. Welcome back to my channel. So for those of you new, new here, my name is Kat Bowser. I'm a licensed therapist. I'm also a writer working in my first books for publication. And on my channel, I usually talk about what I consider to be the heart of writing and that's the characters. And the heart of the characters are their psychology. So that's usually the angle I like to take on a lot of the things I talk about on my channel. So today though, um, I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, to, this is the month of April now, and that means that uh, my first book, Mirrors and Ashes, will be released the 27th of this month. Um, kind of hard to believe <laughs> that it's it's actually happening, but it it is, and I am thrilled about it. Um, if you guys are interested in picking up a pre-order, that will entitle you to lots of, um, well not lots of, but some, some pre-order goodies. Um, that I will send to you. So if you um, are interested, I've included the links below. You can pre-order the paperback or the ebook, doesn't matter which. Um, and then just shoot me a message and let me know that you've pre-ordered and where I should send your goodies to. So today though, I wanted to talk a little bit about the book or more specifically about the series that the book is in. So my first book, Mirrors and Ashes, is a Snow White retelling. Um, and it is actually the first in a series that I am writing called the Fairy Stories Renaissance. Um, fairy Stories being the original term for fairy tales and Renaissance meaning rebirth. Um, so it is basically a series of fairy tale retellings. And I call it a series because they are interconnected, but at the same time, they're not. And I know that that's kind of a weird thing to say, so let me try and make it make sense. Um, so basically, all my fairy story, Renaissance stories, take place in the same universe. But they do not necessarily either follow each other or involve the same characters. So you can read them in any order. So they are connected, but they're not sequels per se. So, like, for example, um, if you pick up my Snow White retelling, you can read it and then um, won't be confused if you were to pick up another of the books first. So, so let's say, um, like, for example, my next um, fairy tale retelling is, I have two, it's going to be a Rumpelstiltskin retelling and a Peter Pan retelling. You can read either one of those before you read Mirrors and Ashes and not be lost. Um, but what you will notice is that you will learn things about the universe and about its history as you read through the books. And depending on which one you read, you may find out, oh, this one occurred before this book, or this one occurred after this book. Um, they aren't elements that are necessarily vital to the plot, but they are like little, um, little nitpicks, little, um, little scraps of detail that I like to put in there so that basically the more of the books you read, the more of the history of the world you get, the more of understanding of the way that the different countries interact, the way the different religions work. So the more books you read, the more you understand. <laughs> but if um, you're like me and there's certain fairy tales that just aren't your cup of tea, you can skip those and you won't be lost. And I kind of wanted to do that because I like the idea of all the stories being interconnected and intertwined, but at the same time, not being reliant on you having to read them in a certain order. And one of the reasons for that is some of the books that I will write later happen earlier. Now you might ask, why didn't I start and do them in chronological order? That wasn't my original plan actually, but as I went through and I started um, outlining the books and things like that, I really wanted to do the Snow White one first because it was the one that was really calling to me in the moment. Um, and it wasn't really important which one historically came first because they aren't going to impact each other in that type of way. Um, so that's, that's why I decided, let me just put them all in the same universe so that you can explore the world and explore and learn more with each book, but you won't necessarily know what you're going to learn. Um, I think sometimes if we know that a certain story came first, we, it kind of sets up a couple of expectations for us, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. 
but I wanted to kind of add that almost aura of mystery so you guys if you want maybe you can figure out what order chronologically they go in I do know um, <laughs> and maybe when um, the series is done whenever that is um, I will release the official order of how they occurred but I think that's kind of like a little little fun little game that you that the readers can play is you know trying to figure out which one came first um, there are clues scattered throughout them um, kind of like those um, kind of like those old math word problems where you're giving detail about one person in relation to another that's kind of how it works like I said if you're not interested in that though you can read it, them in any order and just take them as standalones and they will work just fine so I kind of wanted to start with a standalone but there's part of me that still loves the series so I kind of settled on this almost like as a compromise so the Snow White Retaliate Mirrors and Ashes will be the first one released, but it will not necessarily be the first event in the history of the world that happened. And there are a lot of different countries in this world. You'll, you'll hear a lot of different kingdom names. Um, and I do plan to release a map at some point. I will do that to kind of give you guys a hint of where everything is. Um, but again, that's something I think that's kind of fun to explore as you go through the books. So you will hear mention of certain kingdoms repeated um, and things of that nature. So that's kind of how the series is going to be set up. Um, I might do a future video of the different fairy tales I have planned. Right now I have about 20, I believe. Last night I went through them. <laughs> I, th I think it is about 20. There are a few that will be multiple books. Um, for example, Hansel and Gretel, I believe is gonna be three books. Um, Peter Pan is gonna be three books. Um, no specific reason except those stories are gonna take longer to tell, so they need more than one book. Um, but I will designate, you know, that these are all connected together so you guys don't, don't get lost. But that's the plan as of right now. Um, I do plan on releasing a couple of videos this month as we build up to my release date on April 27th. Just giving you guys a little more info on the story, on the characters. So I hope you guys will join me for that. In the meantime, um, definitely leave a comment or suggestion below if you are so inclined. Um, I try to upload twice a week. Like I said, this month I'm going to do definitely two, two videos per week as we build up to April 27th. If you don't want to miss when I upload, make sure you ring that bell so you get notified whenever new videos go up. And until next time, I hope you guys stay safe. Have a good one.